Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and NBs, and thank you for tuning back in to St. Andrew TV. I am the Saint, and I am also the Andrew. Today, I have a request to fill out from one of my friends named Anthony. He would like a hat, a Western hat, a cowboy hat, whatever you would like to call it. And I said, well, Anthony, I might have something for you. You might just have to give me a day or two. I have a run-of-the-mill wool felt hat that I can craft for you. So you can see if you like the idea of wearing a big wide-brimmed hat before you go out and spend $250. And he said to me, well, yeah, I like that idea. I said, good, Anthony. Why don't you send me the shape that you want me to put it in? And we can start from there. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to put this hat in the shape of this, the new Division Cavalry hat. That is available on Miller Hats. As much as he likes the idea of wearing a giant wide-brimmed hat, he wants to try it out first. And means this hat on Miller Hats is $220, by the way. Well spent if you know you like to wear them. He would like to try this one out first, so I thought, let's kill two birds with one stone. Craft a hat for my friend, who is a first-time Western hat wearer. And also, make a video out of it. I've done a video in the past about crafting a hat. So today I'm just going to show you how to do a different shape. All the basics that we learned in the previous video are going to apply here as well. We're going to do all the necessary steps. We're just going to build it into another shape. However, this one's a gift, so I have to give it my all on this one. Or I don't. What's he going to do? Reject a free hat? Everything we need is down in front of us, so I'm going to tilt that camera down and we're going to get started. No one on the corner has a wagon like us. Hit me on my barn a prepaid wireless. We pack and deliver like UPS trucks. Already going to hell just pumping that gas. All I want to do is and uh, sing and uh, take your money. All I want to do is. Alrighty, that's my model over there, so I'm just going to keep that open inside here. I hope it doesn't distract any of you too much. But the first thing we are going to do is we're going to take this lint brush. You can also do this with packing tape, and we're just going to clean off the hat and get any undesirable piece of lint, dust, hair, anything we don't want on our final product is coming off with this step here. Same goes with the other side. Steam is hot and rolling. Good thing, because we're going to need it here in a second. I'd find more of a uh, bench to work on. Uh, I suppose I could just do it on the table here, but it's kind of dirty and not very conducive. It's not exactly a flat surface. I don't want creaks and crinkles in a hat. Anyway, so we're gonna flip the hat over and we are gonna remove the lining inside of it. I always work on my hats without lining and I suggest you do as well because you don't want things shrinking or expanding inside because this is supposed to be a nice fit on your head. Usually it's just a little piece of super glue that's attaching each part of the lining so it shouldn't be too tough to get out. You can even see the glue marks. That's all there is to it. So we're going to set that off to the side. We're going to put down our leather band and we are going to start steaming it. Now the initial steam here is going just to get it back to a base shape. As you can see, the hat has been worked on a little bit. So we're just going to give it back to the uh, the normal crown, which is just an open crown, and then just a flat brim. And then we are going to reheat it, and we are going to see what we can do with the new Division Cavalry hat and see if we can replicate it. So 
So what I'm trying to do here is try to get that more jagged edge out of the top of the hat there. I don't know if you can see. This right here is not exactly what we're going for. We kind of want to start with a, a real round top. So I'm going to keep working on this and see if I can get out that more jagged edge there. All right, something like that. I don't know how well you can see that, but that is, looks like a dome, at least the top of a dome. But that's what we wanna look for. That is a good base to start shaping the hat. So the next thing we gotta do is flatten out this brim a little bit, get a little warm, get a little moist, and then we can start working on our desired shape for our hat here. And the brim is going to be a lot easier because you just come across it. I usually get it wet with the first pass by putting the steamer right across it. And then I'll just come across it right over the top of it because I'll get a buildup of felt on the steamer. And then cleaning it's bare because it's hot. And that's a whole lot of stuff that... I just don't want to deal with. You want to get this pretty malleable, so don't be scared of how much steam and how much uh, warm heat you're putting on this. You want this hat to be very malleable when you work on it. You will not damage the hat, so if you do something that doesn't fit your eye or it's not how you planned it to be, you can always heat it back up again and reshape it. That's the beauty about fur. Fur and wood. They never die. Well, felted fur. So you see what I mean there? I can easily move it around, except for that part right there, bad example. But you can move it around with ease. That is what you're trying to do with every little piece of the hat. You want it to be very, very easy to move around. That means it's got enough heat and moisture in there to be worked with. So we're not to the, uh, we're not to the working stage yet, but you can see Look at how easy that is. Back here, back here. First thing we're gonna work on is the crown. That for me is always the easier process to work on the crown first, then the brim, because the brim is not touching my work surface and the brim can be then picked up on the inside of the crown here and you can work it because unless you're like me who likes really flat brims, how you'd work on the brim is you'd steam it and then put it on a flat surface and kind of weight the edges. And there's your flat brim. But for this case, we need almost like a turn down brim, not quite, not that drastic. And we're also gonna try a pencil curl brim. I don't know how that's gonna work because I don't have a toliker with me. Uh, so I'd have to do it with almost a pencil to give it a nice little curl. We're gonna try it if it doesn't work. Like I said, fur is never dead or in this case, wool. So if it doesn't work, we'll just heat it back up and flatten it back out and rework the brim. So it's no big deal. So without further ado, we are gonna work on the crown. And remember, ribbon means the back of your head. So if you see this in an old Western hat, you know that this goes to the back of your head, this ribbon here. So this means that is the front and we are gonna put that new division cavalry crease right down the middle and i think that's about it with the crown that he chose so let's heat it up and give it a go actually before we go any further i want to get the pre-measurements of the hat we're working on i'm assuming we're somewhere between um four and a half to five inches on the crown a normal crown is usually six when it's unworked and open and a four inch brim so I like to give you guys the dimensions of what I'm working on prior to me finishing it because I can give you the after dimensions as well. So if I'm not mistaken, that's right around a five and a quarter on an open crown, which is not ideal. You more or less want six inches to work with as a bare minimum. Um, yeah, typical four inch brim though. So that makes sense. So now we're gonna get working on the crown. 
And like I said, the only thing that we are doing with the crown uh, is we're putting a crease right down the middle of it. The brim for this one is going to be the chore. And you can't see it now. You might have paid attention enough to know that the front of the hat is now facing me. So the idea is to get a nice crease down the middle. Not too much because you still want a human head to fit inside. The idea is to get this down to like a four and a half inch crown, maybe something like that. So somebody's head could still fit in there even with the dent down the middle of the hat. Now let's see if I can center this right. This is perfect. This is all I wanted to do with the crown because I did not have a lot of crown to work with, but I gave it a pretty distinguished dent down the middle. I even tried it on. There is room for your head still. So I did it a few times. It obviously didn't come out right the first time, but we got it done. Now it's time to work on the brim, which like I said earlier is kind of a turn down brim, but just not as dramatic. And we are going to attempt a pencil curl brim, but we will see how that goes with time. I'd also like to point out before I move too far past us working on the crown, um, I would also have a block in there with the size of my friend's head so I could shape the hat around what size he needs to fit his dome. Um, it also is good for the prevention of warping while you're working on it so it's not oblong in one way or another. Like I said, I'm an amateur. I would like to get a block with the size of it being, at the very least, my head so I could work in my hats and not warp them anyway. But I'm hoping with what he's tried on, that this is going to be a good size for him. He's tried on some of my hats and he says he'd like them a little bigger. I found the hat that I don't wear that fit or ran a little big, I suppose. So I'm hoping this will work. So this is going to be my first attempt at a pencil curl brim. I don't even have the tool to do it properly. So I'm going to give it my best shot. And if it doesn't work, we can always heat it back up and flatten it back out. But it never hurts to give it a try. I'm actually using a pencil with that. Tell you what, Anthony, when I deliver this hat to him, Better have a beautiful, medium, rare sirloin, porterhouse. There's no way he knows how to cook prime rib. But if he did, I'm expecting it at this point. This pencil curl shit is very tedious. You know exactly what you need to do, and it's actually relatively easy when you got the brim curled in that way it's just that you can't work on too much at a time otherwise it'll start getting wavy like you can see it right there it gets wavy because not an equal amount of material has flipped up and therefore you have to kind of rework the entire area to get a more flat and straight look to it. I mean, you can see it start to come together. Obviously, there's a lot of work to be done, but so maybe I'll just do this in fast motion for the next, I'm assuming, hour. This is going to have to be done.
There is the pencil curled brim. This took a lot of work freehanding this and I had to do a little bit of ingenuity and some improvisation. Um, it, uh, it came out way better than I expected it to be. You can see that it is hand built in some spots because there are some waves in the brim itself, but for a freehand pencil curled brim, I'd say that's more than acceptable. Um, this spot is gonna need some hat stiffener because this came a little loose when I was doing all that stuff. But besides that, now we're just gonna work on the curve of the brim, which we're just gonna bring the nose down a little bit and the back down a little bit, and that should flare the sides for us. So let's get to that. That is pretty much it for shaping it. We are gonna add some hat bands and we're gonna hit it with uh, the hat stiffener because we did a lot of work with it today and it's probably still a little moist in the internals of the felt here, but uh, that is the new Division Cavalry hat from Miller Hats. And uh, I'm gonna show you everything that I'm gonna do in the post shaping of the hat. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the shaping portion. So I'm gonna bring the camera back up here in a second. Shout out Miller Hats. Thank you everyone for being patient today. This was a longer video. I did some things that I don't normally do when I craft hats. I've never done a pencil curl brim before, so that was a new experience. I would prefer the tools next time because it would make my life a hell of a lot easier. But at least I can tell my friend that this was genuinely handcrafted. As you saw from the little speed up at the end of the video, you saw that I put the liner back in. I, uh, I put a band on it, or actually two bands. I, I don't really love the bands, but like those are interchangeable. He can change those out however he pleases. And obviously with the new Division Cavalry hat, I would have preferred to put acorns on it. You know, the little two dangly bits that hang off the front of it. So I did the best with what I had. He could order those too, so he's getting a free hat after all. I mean, what the hell? And then you obviously saw me put some hat stiffener on it that is gonna kind of lock the hat in its current shape. And if he doesn't like it, it can always be reheated and the whole process can start over. This is our final product. I think it turned out better than expected. Obviously, I would have loved to have six inches on the crown to start with, but we did the best that we could. Um, obviously, when you wanna work with hats, if you wanna build it yourself, 
you're going to want to get a six inch crown because it gives you more leeway to kind of do whatever you want. Theoretically, this dent should be a little more defined and into the hat, but when you have a five and a quarter inch to work with, you're kind of limited with your options. The pencil curled brim came out way better than expected. Um, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. There are some noticeable parts of the brim that you can tell were handcrafted and a tool was not used to do the most precise way of doing the pencil curl brim. Overall, this was a hat to see if my friend Anthony would want to spend that $220 or so to get a fur felt hat. And uh, I hope he enjoys this because I had fun making it. And I also hope that you guys had fun watching it. This is the second time on this channel that I have crafted a hat from a base model into something out of my own imagination or a pre-designed desired look that we were going for. Please leave a comment if you've enjoyed the video or tell me what I should do next or give me a hat design that you'd like me to try. Also, how you can tell me you like the video by hitting the like button. That is at the bottom of the screen. You can click that and let me know if you liked the video, believe it or not. Also, there's a big red button that is beside that like button that says subscribe. Now, some of you have already done that and I thoroughly appreciate it. So a little more advice to the people who have hit that big red button, maybe hit the notifications bell, because it'll let you know when I post a video. However, if this is your first St. Andrew TV video, or your second or your third, maybe just keep coming back to my pretty face. Think about hitting that subscribe button, because you're a daisy if you do.